Greetings all, Devious Monkey here. Today, I wanna to talk about not knowing what you're doing. We've all been there, presumably. I know I'm there in a constant state. What do I mean by that? What do you do if you don't know how to do something? So let's say you buy a new camera because you wanna take up digital photography, but you don't know what you're doing. Or you wanna be a videographer, so you buy a hybrid camera or a camcorder or if you're loaded, you go out and you buy like a professional camera, a RED or something like that, but you don't know how to use it. And then of course, let's talk about editing. You need Photoshop or something similar, or if you're using an iPad, you have to use something like LumaFusion, or if you're editing video, you're gonna use something like Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro if you're using an Apple, et cetera, et cetera. But you don't know how to use any of those things. What do you do? Well, for me, I always say this to my buddy who's constantly asking me stuff. Dude, Google is your friend. And you get what, 40, 50 million hits on how to do something? And most of them are years old. So you have to refine your search and you gotta put things in like 2021 or December 2020, because in this game, a month can make a difference. And you can be looking up stuff that was from the last update and it doesn't pertain anymore. Maddening, isn't it? Okay, what I'm getting at is there are places to go to learn stuff now that weren't available years ago, especially not when I started. When I started as a photographer, I was buying magazines, literally buying magazines and going to Barnes and Noble and buying every book that I could find on photography and lighting and Photoshop and all the programs that I could find. And if I couldn't get them there, I was going to used bookstores. It's a lot different now, 15 to 20 years later. Now you can go on the internet and there are hundreds of resources that you can go to, but there are a few big dogs that everybody uses. Like most people on YouTube, some of the bigger creators, they're all backed and sponsored by certain places. So if you don't know what you're doing and you need music, Epidemic Sound or Art List. If you need to learn how to build a web page or something like that, Squarespace. I go to two places. Well, theoretically, I go to two places. I have a Skillshare account. I'm very bad about going there and actually doing the course. There is a site called, what is it? Udemy? Udemy? I don't know. I don't even know how to pronounce it. U-D-E-M-Y. I've taken one course there, my friend Romina's course on time management and things like that. I have looked at several Skillshare courses, and of course, here we are, YouTube. There's pretty much a video for just about everything. And again, you have to find one that's timely and relevant because technology changes so quickly. But for the most part, you can find stuff. Most of the things that I have purchased, I have found a video on. Somebody's reviewed it, somebody's broken it down. How is it after a year? Or sometimes how is it after a week or a month or whatever like that? So there's all these different videos that you can find that are gonna talk about something that you have purchased, want to purchase, or you just don't know how to use it after you bought it. Part of the reason that I have restarted my YouTube channel and done it in the way that I have, because remember, I started out as a disabled vet trying to figure out how to become a filmmaker, a videographer, whatever, doing photography when you have a body that just doesn't want to cooperate. It very quickly morphed into almost, but not entirely, like a gear channel because of all the stuff that I use. I mean, in order to become a, a YouTuber, you got to have a camera, you got to get lenses, you got to figure out lighting, you got to get software, you got to do all that stuff so that you can present your vision. So you got to learn how to use it. You got to learn what to buy. You could be me and just buy shit all the time and try it out, decide that it isn't for you and then get rid of it and then go buy more stuff. Although I don't recommend that because it gets very costly and you waste a lot of time. That's not to say that just because you see somebody using something that you, you might be interested on YouTube, that it's for you. Everybody's different. Some people are Canon shooters. Some people are sponsored Canon shooters. Some people are professional and make several hundred thousand dollars at what they do and that gear is written off. If you're like me, you don't have any sponsors, you're out there buying it all yourself and paying for it from your day job. You have to be a little bit more critical and you have to be a little bit more decisive and you have to be a little bit more learned before you go out and spend your hard earned cash, right? That's where all this comes in. That's what I'm saying. You gotta be able to go to the right resource to learn how to do what it is you wanna do. Google is my go-to. That's the first thing I do as I search on Google. That usually leads me to a couple of different websites. I don't always wanna watch a video. Sometimes I wanna read it at my leisure so that I can absorb it. I'm visual, remember. And then that will more than likely take me to YouTube. 
And then if it's something that I'm going to pursue, then I go to a site like Skillshare, where I involve myself in a course. And Skillshare now is not the only place. Again, Udemy, Udemy, whatever. There, there are places like that where you can go and take a course. And now even some creators have created their own courses, their own schooling as, as it would be, that you can learn how to do what they do. And that's pretty cool. That's the bottom line of this video, because I'm sitting here lately saying that I don't know what I'm doing. I'm a horrible editor. So I'm now looking for Skillshare courses. I'm now scouring YouTube for people that, that have videos that tell you how to do something that I know that I want to learn how to do. And I watch that and all that kind of stuff. And even places like HitFilm, where they have hundreds of tutorials for how to use their software. And that's another resource. There are places that you can go to learn how to use the software and you start with the maker of the software. I'm curious and I wanna know what you use. A lot of times I'm like this, I just do what I do because that's what I do and it might not be the best way. So hit me up, tell me down below in the comments section, where do you go? What do you do when you don't know how to do something but you wanna know how to do something and this is where you go because I wanna know that. Let's help each other out. And that's all I got for you today. So, as always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.